Welcome back. If you're a bit scared of standing up in front of a bunch of people and uh, delivering a message, you're not alone. There's a lot of people who don't love to public speak, but Janice Otremba isn't one of them because she is very good at it. It's Thank great you. to have you back on the show. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks. Yeah, you are offering a workshop for people to perhaps get their feet a bit wet and learn some of the tricks of the trade in order to feel more confident. Totally. So it's actually for both groups. So there'll be the people that are the knee knocking, scared to actually talk. I want to do this or I need to do this because it's a position I'm in. But a lot of the folks that come in are people that are already really good at speaking. Mm. And it's about taking their game up to the next level. It's that I'm already good and what would I need to do to shift to have more of a competitive leverage or more of a competitive advantage? Or I'm already communicating to my staff on an ongoing basis, but at the same time, if I could increase and make my communication more effective quicker, I might spend less time putting up fires down the road. So true. And that makes a big difference. How do you take those two groups and make them work together or are they in two separate situations? No, nope, they're all together because the entire program is experiential. So we'll send you the book ahead of time. So it's two days full on experiential. So you're gonna be speaking over a hundred times in the two days. That's a lot. It, it's a lot. And in front of everybody else in the group? Absolutely. Mm. So it's compressed, intensive type learning, but because it's so experiential, by the end of the two days, whatever level you started at, you've already upped your game. What kind of stuff do you get people to stand up and talk about? Absolutely, anything that they want. Really? So we actually use the book, so we send the book out ahead of time, so they'll actually use some of the material in the chapters to talk about it, but they'll, we might have you talk about your dog, we might have to, you talk about running, we might have you talk about your experience that it's been with doing the portrait segment for the midday show. It's, it's on things you already know, because it's more important for you to pay attention to how your audience is receiving you and what your experience is as compared to, well, I've memorized this and did I get it right? It's mm -hmm. not about that. Let's hear about some of the success stories that have come out. Absolutely. I wish you could name names, but you can't. <laughs> I can name some names, okay. if that's helpful. Yes. All right. So um, Bonnie Johnson is somebody who's been through the program and was already a very, very good speaker. And for her, the difference now is how fast she actually can build rapport and communicate with people. But more importantly, as she says, it's I'm now aware of what was making me good. So you can keep doing that. Yes. And she's now aware of what she would like to do to get better. All right, Brett McElwain is a fantastic person as well. Came through the program and really was a good speaker, but has learned that slowing down a little bit, having more what we call pregnant pauses, mm -hmm. just allows his audience and the people he's talking to to take that information in even that much better. All right, so there's numerous people that have come through it. A lot of people that I work with are politics, are lawyers, entrepreneurs, salespeople. So for salespeople, the biggest thing is, what if I can show you a way to increase your communication effectiveness with specific tools so that you actually decrease how many follow-ups you have to keep doing mm -hmm. to communicate the message? Absolutely. Okay? So it really is a combination of everyone from both spectrums, whether you're scared to speak or you're in a position where you don't want to say yes to an opportunity for fear of not doing well. Right. We've had somebody come through that was not getting the promotions that they wanted in the position because they were going to have to lead and train staff. So coming through the program, increasing their effectiveness in that process, they now got the promotion for the job. Mm -hmm. so. so it's about fine-tuning your skills. I mean, certainly you're going to get absolutely. the newcomers, the absolute newcomers, yeah. but it doesn't mean uh, as an accomplished speaker you can't get better and become more effective and further your, your career and uh, really become top-notch at what you do. Yeah, and sometimes we just need the opportunity for having all of that feedback in the room come at us mm -hmm. to be able to go, oh my, oh, so when I do that, that really works for you? Or when you're watching other people, oh, I want to try that. So we'll get people that land planes with their hands when they talk to <laughs> yes. practice. What would it look like and feel? like to be a little bit smaller in your space yes. and vice versa Fantastic. because it's safe to do it in a place where you get to practice mm -hmm. most of us won't, won't go out and practice in a real business situation or a life it's a first impression counts absolutely so this is a two-day safe place to try something different and see if that works for you and if it doesn't don't use it if it does adopt it and run with it absolutely so we are out of time but i want to remind people it's a two-day workshop it's taking place october 24th and 25th and in it's Kamloops. called stand speak and soar Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Information is on the screen. JaniceOtremba.com. It's absolutely worth checking out. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us.